Okay, I'm really starting to get into this now. This is crazy good fun. Uh, the last few days I've made $20 a day passive income uh, by owning NFT, music NFTs. This is all with Gala Music. I'm gonna show you on this video, um, I'm gonna purchase another music NFT called Destino by Enyo Carpenter. And we'll show you how this makes money uh, as the track owner, also for the musician, uh, and so on. If you go to gogala.co.uk, you can find out uh, details there. We can join Gala Music for free, listen to music. You can listen to this track as well. I'll put the links below in the description for both Destino and also A Fistful More, both uh, tracks from Enyo Carpenter. I think they're fascinating tracks. But let's give you a, a bit of background to it first of all. So Gala Music is part of Gala Entertainment. So there's Gala Games, there's Gala Music, there's Gala Film. Um, and each of them are really rewarding both the artists, the creators, and also those supporting the platform, the network. Um, so I own what's called a jukebox node. So I can purchase this music track, put it on my jukebox, and every time it gets played then it earns me as the jukebox owner and as the track owner extra income so we can see at the moment it's had 174 plays yesterday this was only available in the last two days uh, so on the 14th actually it's been available for a few days but people haven't been able to buy it and then that's when it's become available uh, but 174 plays yesterday um, it's only on seven jukeboxes. So because there's 174 plays, that means each jukebox owner is responsible for a fair number of those plays. Let's just do the quick calculation. So it's 174 plays in total, and it's on seven jukeboxes. So seven people have paired it with their jukebox. So it's been played almost 25 times on each jukebox. And hence it's giving fantastic earnings here uh, the daily rewards uh, $11.61 now to own this track cost $100 so let me take you through and show you how you buy this track for $100 and it's going to make at the moment well in this 24 hour period it's made $11.61 in music uh, token which you can sell back to fit if you want to uh, but at the moment my strategy is to buy tracks let them earn me more music token and then buy even more tracks and really kind of compound it. Um, so you can see date available is the 16th of April. We are currently the 18th of April as recorded in this video. There's only a hundred tracks available uh, of this particular um, track, Destino, at the moment. So there's 16 sold, there's 84 left. So a hundred were made available, were minted it's not really minted, but 100 were made available, 84 are still available for purchase. Um, so 16 have been sold. And uh, yeah, I really like the track. Like I said, you can uh, check the link in the description uh, to list to this specific track. It's also anime, which I know has a massive following worldwide. And so what you're doing with Gala Music, in one sense is trying to work out, well, who's gonna be the big hit? because there's only 100 NFTs. So once all these 100 NFTs are owned uh, by individuals, so it could be 100 individuals, you might get someone who might buy 10, so you could have 10 people owning 10 each. Um, but once those 100 are sold, they're sold. And if this track becomes really popular on Gala Music, so there's two factors there. First of all, will Gala Music become really popular? If it does, then yes, whoever's on here as musicians, um, you know, if, if they get a million listeners into Gala Music and there's only a thousand musicians on there, then they're going to get a thousand listens a day each and so on. Um, I'm getting sidetracked there, but basically if this becomes a big hit, the more listens you get, the more rewards there are. So as people buy this NFT, obviously it's going to get di distributed to more um, jukebox holders, track, track owners, um, but they'll reach a plateau. Um, and then if the plays continue, listens continue to go up, then you could be on to a big winner. Um, so let's go and purchase this, show you how uh, this process works. So you'd need an account with Gala Games first of all. Uh, you can use a credit card, so it's $100. Or if you don't want to use a credit card, if you want to use uh, music itself. So I have at the moment 
21,000 music tokens in my account. So this is going to cost 1,063. So I'm going to use the music token that's in my account amount. Click on review order. Okay, so here's the details of the order. I need to enter my transfer code in. So when I set up my account, I uh, created a transfer code. So let me just go and get that. So we click on place order. So that's purchased. Now we go to my collection. So I've got a collection of tracks and it will take us over there. So here we can see, just refresh that page, we can see total owned tracks. I own 15 individual tracks. Uh, so here's the most recent one I've just purchased there, Destino. Uh, so what I want to do now is put this on my jukebox so people can listen to it and I can earn from that. I can put it on the community jukebox if I want. Uh, I only own 50% of the commission that I would get, or rewards rather, as opposed to having it on my own jukebox. I currently have a song on my jukebox uh, running from love which is not creating me much uh, revenue so I'll put that one on the community jukebox I've got space for my jukebox so you can have 10 different tracks in the jukebox so let's go and sort that out so first thing let's go over uh, to my nodes my jukebox so here you can see an overall performance I've got uh, 14 out of 15 tracks currently hosted so the one I've just bought Destino is not yet currently hosted and uh, last day rewards, I earned 192 uh, music tokens yesterday and total rewards for music tokens through Gala Music is just under 50,000 um, music tokens at the moment. So let's go to our node, our music track. So first we want to move our running from love. So we're going to remove that from our um, jukebox so let's do that, that's successfully removed from the jukebox. So now we've got the track slot available, so we'll click on that and we'll add in Destino. Enter in the transfer code again, plus our two-factor authentication code. Click confirm. And there we go, success. So that is Destino that we've just purchased is now available on my jukebox. So again, yesterday, or the last day, 126 music tokens. So I'm going to add that to my spreadsheet. Uh, and the other thing I want to do is I've now unhosted my other track. So let's go back to my music. So currently not hosted is running for love. And we want to host this. And we're going to host this on the community jukebox node. So we don't need to do anything else. We confirm, put in our transfer code again. Click continue. And there we go. So all of our tracks are currently hosted. So 15 of my tracks are all hosted. 10 on my own jukebox, five on the community jukebox. Uh, and so it's as simple as that. Now I don't have to listen to the music, uh, but it's really good fun actually going through, finding music you like, because to actually own the music that you like there's just some sort of extra, I don't know, it's not credibility, but a real excitement there to think you do actually own these musicians. You know, imagine if, I'll go back to Beatles days, if you owned an original track from the Beatles when they were their first, let's say they printed, stamped a hundred um, discs of their very first record, and imagine owning that record, but that was the, the record that they used to print off all the other ones, you know, so it's it's the uh, what do they call them? The template, the gold template, or something like that. And owning that as from the Beatles, well, that's that's very much how it feels to me now with these different musicians. So if I go back to my music, that Destino, I've listened to it a couple of times. I think it's a cracking piece of music, um, and it's going to earn me one hundred and twenty-six point five music nodes today, uh, not music nodes, sorry, music tokens. Uh, so that is in the region of $13. So I spent $100 on that. I've already got $13 of that back. Um, it's not going to stay, well, you can't actually predict quite where it's going to go if it becomes really popular as a piece of music and Gala Music gains in uh, popularity as well, then that could receive tens of thousands of listens a day uh, which would be a huge amount of uh, potential rewards 
for me as a track owner. Anyway, hopefully that gives you a bit of a, a flavour. Uh, I will be giving out um, tutorials and guides on this as I develop it further. So if you go to gogala.co.uk, you can opt into a mailing list there. I hope to add that onto the website very soon. And so you can get exclusive videos and I can give you some free training to show you how to really make this as uh, an income for it. at the moment. If uh, Music Token was to double from where it's at at the moment, uh, then I'd be looking at making about $18,000 a year and current um, it's very speculative estimates but about $18,000 a year from uh, these 15 tracks that I own here assuming that everything stays level from where it is now um, so that's kind of the worst case scenario well the worst case scenario is that Gala Music just doesn't gain traction and there's, there's not enough listeners I think the artists will love this um, people putting good quality music on here because they will see that they will get an audience and they, they can make a lot more money potentially by creating music NFTs which Gala Music will make very easy for them to do um, and so I can see this being very attractive for musicians and if it's attractive for your musicians then it's going to become attractive for people listening to those musicians and so it does stand that potential of becoming really massive this so as you're watching this video this is the very very early days so if you do get involved with Gala Music, it could be extremely rewarding. Um, but anyway, like I said, check out the details at gogala.co.uk and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.